fascinated by light that I used to stare directly at the sun. Now for the kids out there, this is a really bad idea. Again, kids, grown-ups do not do this. I used to stare at the sun wondering, if this is just light, why is it so hard to look at? And so I wish I'd known that sunlight contains not just visible light that we can see, but also ultraviolet light that burns your eyeballs. <laughs> beforehand. Now the reason for this is that light travels fast, but not infinitely fast. It has to go all the way from the sun to the earth, and that's a long distance. So it takes light eight minutes to do that. Technically, the sun could have exploded seven minutes ago, and we wouldn't know for another minute. of astrophysics, I'm still fascinated by light, but perhaps even more so by its absence. I study the environment of black holes. Now what are black holes? I'm going to explain. body in the universe has an escape speed. A black hole is simply a body that has an escape speed that's faster than the speed of light. Black holes are black. So how do you make a black hole? Well, in theory, it's quite simple. You can take anything in the universe, like a star, or a planet, or a cat, and if you cram it down to a small enough space, you can make a black hole. And I'm going to simplify it as much as possible. What if we just woke up tomorrow morning and the sun had collapsed to a black hole? What would happen? So the first thing is, it wouldn't be morning. We'd be locked in a permanent night without any more sunrises. Do just 
just fine. And it's not the cockroach, it's the tardigrade. So tardigrades, for those who don't know, are these tiny microscopic animals about the size of a pinhead. They can survive extreme temperatures and pressures, even the vacuum of space. that black holes just suck everything into them. Unless you're very close to a black hole, its gravity will behave in the same way as around any other object. Now, the sea, the oceans, will develop a very thick layer of ice, but underneath will have lots of liquid water where we can live with the tardigrades. <laughs> experiment, you now feel really good about your everyday problems. <laughs> when you feel down, I invite you to think about the planets that are in orbit around dead stars or black holes, and be really grateful for the sunrises and the sunsets and the sunrises that we get. For me, this thought experiment goes just one step further. Knowing that we could survive on a cold, dark world underneath a thick layer of ice. I wonder, is there anywhere in our solar system that looks like this today and could support life? And the answer is yes. surface to reach the liquid water ocean underneath. So this is pretty exciting. And I'm not saying we're definitely going to find aliens under the surface living in submarines. <laughs> but it's really exciting that we're going to look 